with IE9 and it works, that's my fault. I did that. <laughs> <laughs> I only took 18 bytes to fix. I got it done. Yeah, okay. So, let's get started. Oh, actually, before I do this, I'm just going to warm up my uh, virtual machine because I, uh, I suspended it a second ago. So just give me one second. Right, let me get back into this. So as I say, uh, my name, hopefully, <laughs> so, connector, yeah. connector. The, the, the max <laughs> I think that that connector. Okay, it'll okay. work. Don't worry. There you go. Right. So that's how to reach me, Martin Wu, at Microsoft.com or at Martin Woodward. I do a podcast and I have a blog as well. Um, I work on a product called Team Explorer Everywhere. We're gonna, it's a demo camp. We'll have a demo of it in a minute. Uh, but basically, as I say, it's 99.9% um, Java. We'll talk about the other a little bit in a minute. Uh, it's an Eclipse plugin, which is what I personally spend most of my time working on. But we also have um, a command line client that talks to a product of ours called Team Foundation Server that we'll talk about. And that's all written in Java as well. So, um, and the reason I say it's 99.9% .9 Java is because we have some native code to do stuff that you can't do reliably in all the versions of Java we support. For example, setting a file read-only and then setting it writable, you couldn't do that until Java 5, and we support Java 4 for a long time, so we need native code to do that. We also talk to uh, the keychain on Mac, to store authentication credentials, again, you make the code. Um, on AIX, we, need, we want to talk to the Kerberos libraries uh, to do single sign-on authentication, again, native code. So, for some platforms, we need to write a bit of native code. When we write that, we write it and then compile it across all the platforms we support, which is uh, Windows, obviously, but x86, x64, Mac, PowerPC, x86, x64, uh, HP UX, and I can't remember the chips, that's Itanium and something else, Solaris, Spark, and x86, you get the idea, you know, a lot of stuff. Keeps us busy. That's basically the architecture of the product. We have the command line client, CLC, and the Eclipse plugin. And then we have a bunch of code here, which is all Java code, apart from this little latest. And we now sit on top of the Java 5 stack, that's our minimum. Um, we have an older version that's still in market, that runs on top of Java 4. But if you're running Java 4 on your desktop, don't. A lot of people do, because they have to they support Java 4 um, in production. Really, don't. It, uh, it, um, the, we did some security research about uh, the number of you know malware that we're getting on people's PCs, and currently Java is one of the number one vectors for getting malware onto machines. So you really, really want to be running the latest version of Java on your desktop. Eclipse is fantastic because Eclipse will let you target older versions of Java, and you can still run those. You can still have those Java versions installed on your machine, but run on the latest version of Java as a, as your runtime locally test against the version of Java that you need to test against and develop against that version. Okay. So, I live in Northern Ireland, all the way over there, not too far away. Um, the rest of my team live here in North Carolina. Well, 50% of my team live here. The other 50% of my team live here in Redmond, Washington. Uh, so, the server I talked to to do source control and version control things, that all lives here, which we'll talk about in a minute, in Redmond, so we're talking about that. But we have the Visual Studio team, and the, the, the team I work in, which is the Visual Studio team, despite the fact I run on a Mac and use Eclipse. Um, we're based across the world. We have, as I say, big office in Seattle, North Carolina, we have a few people dotted around Europe, Italy. We have a new guy, Eric Gamma. Do you know Eric Gamma? He wrote oh, yes. Gamma 4 design patterns. <coughs> yeah. He now works for Microsoft. He came up to Microsoft recently. Sure. So he set up a um, development lab in Zurich. He's setting up there and, and setting up a, a development <coughs> lab in Zurich. So that's quite good. 
He's great guy. <laughs> I was, I was chatting to him on Thursday and showing him some stuff and he was uh, you know, reminiscing about all the, all the different bits he wrote, you know, in, inside of the Java tooling and things. I was like, how do I plug into this? He's like, oh, it's here. You know, I wrote that. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, it's a great guy to talk to. That's the view from my office, as you see. That's where I live, where I live. And uh, that's actually where my desk is there. Uh, I have a desk that Microsoft gave me when I joined the company. I never use it because my team are all in America. That's, that's where it is. That is where they built the Titanic, believe it or not. That's it. We don't let that worry you. It was fine when we last touched it. So uh, <laughs> that's where we built Visual Studio. Now. Anyway. <laughs> okay. And I, I wrote a, a couple of books as well about Team Foundation Serve and things. So why are you here? Why are we in. M Microsoft's office as well, learning about stuff. Um, well, Microsoft is all about developers, as you may know, famously. I'll not, I'll not reproduce the dance for you here. Um, I wouldn't do it justice. But um, we're all about developers. And Microsoft are a platform company. They make platforms for people to build software on. We want your software to work the best on our platforms so we can make more money. It's that easy. So, uh, for example, in um, Windows 7, we worked with uh, Tastop, who are contributors to Eclipse, uh, and worked with those guys to help us commit some changes into Eclipse SWT so that you can make use of features of Windows 7 in your Eclipse RCP applications. So you can do jump lists, you can do uh, the little taskbar icons, you know, so there's a little progress bar across it. You can do notifications, all those sorts of features of the Windows 7 uh, Chrome you can make use of through the work. Any, uh, sorry to interrupt you, are there any plans to release the ribbon so that you can use that inside? In the Eclipse. In Eclipse? Uh, that's no, is the short answer. That's not my team, but no. The, uh, yeah, the ribbon um, is the office guys. Uh, and you can um, you can use a ribbon. You just have to apply through the the, the there's a, a license form to apply through to be able to use a ribbon in your application. And as I understand it, uh, basically as long as you're not building a word processing or Excel spreadsheet application um, and you're targeting Windows, I think. But I'm not so sure about that because they use a ribbon in Mac Office as well. So I'm not sure what the restrictions are, but they, you know, generally you're allowed as long as you fill in the form. But it's not, it's not open source, no, it's uh, yeah, what they like, unfortunately. 